Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Friday the United States and NATO had not addressed Russia's main security demands in their standoff over Ukraine. But Moscow is ready to keep talking. That was Putin's first reaction to the US and NATO responses to Russia's demands in a phone call with French President Emmanuel Macron. After weeks of personal public silence on the crisis in which Russia has massed troops near Ukraine. The Kremlin quoted Putin as telling Macron he would study the written responses provided by Washington and NATO this week. The Russian Federation has amassed upwards at this time. War is heating up on the border of Ukraine and Russia. To understand what's going on you have to understand what Vladimir Putin really wants. The conditions are all set for a proper war between two countries Russia and Ukraine but what exactly is the agenda of the war and why is the momentum building up so fast for a major war? There is a real threat of Russia invading Ukraine, Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has warned, but it is very unlikely British soldiers would be deployed to fight in any conflict. Any invasion would be terrible for Europe, M. Truss told the BBC. Russia denies its planning any invasion. But it has seized Ukrainian territory before and it has an estimated 100,000 troops deployed near its borders. Russia has denied the possibility for a war but has properly set up troops and positions for an invasion. On the other hand Ukraine has also prepared and is now ready to face an invasion. The United States have cleared that they don't want to be a part of any destruction nor they want to participate. Russia says it has no plans to attack Ukraine and armed forces chief Valery Gerasimov even denounced reports of an impending invasion as a lie. NATO's secretary general warns the risk of conflict is real and President Biden says his guess is that Russia will move in. The U.S. says it knows of Russian plans to boost its forces near Ukraine on very short notice. The U.S. says Russia has offered no explanation for the troops posted close to Ukraine, and Russian troops and tanks have headed to Belarus for exercises. Russia's Putin also sent new fighter jets to Belarus for the setup of troops in case of war. The Ukraine army says they are ready if any war takes place. Russia seized Crimea in 2014 arguing it had a historic claim to it. Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, which collapsed in December 1991 and Mr. Putin said it was the disintegration of historical Russia. And the major reason why Vladimir Putin wants to invade Ukraine is that he believes that Ukraine and Russia is one nation and has a historic background thus he plans to make it a single state again. President Vladimir Putin has spoken several times to Mr. Biden and high-level talks continue, but Russian officials have warned that Western rejection of their key demands are leading to a dead end the question is how far Russia will go. President Biden has warned that a full-scale invasion would be a disaster for Russia. But if it was a minor incursion, he said controversially that the West would end up having to fight about what to do. And in terms of war Russia has a larger army and more destructible troops. They not only excel in weapons but also soldiers. The Pentagon has accused Russia of preparing a so-called false flag operation, with operatives ready to carry out acts of sabotage against Russian back travels, to provide a pretext for invasion. Russia has denied it. Ukraine's president wants an international summit to resolve the conflict, involving France and Germany along with Russia.